What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing Deliverance. This seems like a very interesting game about delivering books, I think, in a library, I think. Knowledge. But there is a bit of a twist in the way the controls work. I'm just going to get into this game so I can show you. Let's play. Hello? Who's there? I'm waking up. Oh. Survive the nightmare. Gotta start me off like that, my dude. Okay, so <laughs> this is the twist. You can only move by pressing... Oh, <laughs> can only move by pressing Q and E successfully in sequence. And if you press the same button twice by mistake, oh my god, then that's coitins for you. So, what do I do? I fell again. I think also maybe pressing it too fast might not be a good idea. Whoops. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Okay, somebody is knocking. Oh. Okay. Left click. Bring each book here and we will let you out. One of them will only move in darkness. One of them? I only see one of them here. You mean to tell me there is another? Okay, I guess I gotta go... Get this. Got it. Oh. Oh. What? What? Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's kind of easy. Kind of easy. R? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, I am. Oh, oh, I'm very scared. I'm very scared now. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. I'm very sorry if you can hear my keyboard, but this is the nature of the game. This is what I gotta do to survive. I gotta find the other book. And it's right here. Uh! What happened to you, my dude? What did they do to you? What did they do? Okay. Okay. I'm going. 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 Oh, 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 oh. I am actually scared now. I am actually scared. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now that he's awake, we can't, we can't let you out. The game is rigged from the start. Oh! Ah! Oh. Well. Oh. That was incredibly short. A lot shorter than I was expecting. But that is a really cool game. I kind of want to see if I can see what this thing looks like before I end the video. And that will also allow me to see, oh, here we go, left click. That will also allow me to see, whoops. <laughs> that will also allow me to see whether or not there's a different ending that comes from getting caught. God damn it. It's very interesting to me how I didn't let that happen at all as I was roaming around during the second portion when it was dark and there was the maze. But as you could see, my movement is unmatched. Oh, uh, here we go. It's time to get back. I'm gonna try to take the same path. Even though I don't, oh God, there, there, there we go. There we go, there's the thing. So when I get this book again, I'm just gonna let whatever the hell this thing is catch me and kill me and probably eat me. Whoops, there it is, there it goes. I'm gonna see if I can get a good look at this monster. Here we go. Maybe it'll go. Oh, God, I couldn't. I promise you, I am going to figure this out. I am going to find this guy. I'm assuming you can't press too fast because I'm alternating correctly, but it's still not doing it right. Or maybe it's just not registering. <laughs> I can't say that I've played a game like this, at least not a horror game, where you have to alternate your feet. You actually have to take steps, manually stepping. It's like that Caleb, 
It's like that Caleb City skit where you have to... Oh God. That skit where uh, the game he's playing is like so overly detailed that you have to literally use like each finger to grasp something. It's like kind of a simplified version of that skit. Here we go, picking up. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do, when that thing starts screaming, I'm just gonna look behind. Me. Oh yeah, there it is! Oh! <laughs> All right, that's about it. My God, dude, that thing actually kind of freaked me out a bit. Oh man, oh God. Some of the best horror games that I play, kind of by the time I'm done with it, the, the fear doesn't really leave quite yet. There's still this nagging feeling of the adrenaline that came from playing the game. And then it just gets to the point where I have to wait a couple minutes before I'm like totally back to normal. And that's exactly what happened with this game. I think the fact that it doesn't utilize a conventional movement scheme in terms of the controls is a perfect way to build on that adrenaline and that fear. Because something that's so simple and pretty much guaranteed in other indie horror games. Movement, holding W, and moving the camera to move forward. You quickly realize when you're playing this game how much you take that for granted, because it's not difficult to do the Q and E thing. In order to move forward, you have to alternate between Q and E, and I guess that acts as each foot. It's not incredibly difficult, and I think it's not supposed to be, but just the knowledge that you could mess up. You could accidentally, in your fear, press the same button twice and fall on your face and get attacked by that crazy Cyclops beast. I think that's what really adds to the fear, just the knowledge that you hold the keys to your own success or failure in this game. This is really cool. I liked this. I love finding unique little games like this. It was very short, a lot shorter than I was hoping, but you know what? I can't complain. I still had a great time playing this. And I know you will too. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. But I'm going to leave this video off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you want to catch a new video every single day of the week, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for Thanks again for watching everyone and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.